I am so I say, uh, Arthur. I am Arthur. I will present uh, what is fuse testing. Um, let's let's start. Uh, we will start with you know what is fuse testing. Uh, how implement it? I will do a uh, live example, a little demo, and um, I will give you some tips when it's useful use fuse testing. And um, let's finish with a question and answer uh, section. First, uh, maybe some of you are wondering what is fuse testing. Uh, first, fuse testing is an uh, it's an agnostic uh, fuse. Uh, no, it's an agnostic testing technique. So you can use it in any system or in any language. But um, and that consists in fitting on a system with a uh, random inputs generated automatically. The purpose of this is expand our code coverage. Uh, this helps you to discover edge cases, also helps or to improve the, the security. And it uh, is useful when we want to refactor something or compare compared to implementation that do the same. Uh, also, we can compare uh, the output of both, of both methods of both systems that suppose will be working in a similar. Um, the type of books that Fuse can help you to define are NILs, are division by zero, uh, it's infinity recursion or infinity loops, also the deadlocks, um, and other bound uh, axes also help us to, to find that kind of, of box. Um, the interesting thing part of fuse testing is that now is na native available science, the version 1.18. So before that, we have some libraries that that uh, that help you to, to fuse in our, our code, but now uh, it is na native in the testing package of Go, and we can use the Go command to Go Go test command to to test or or to test or fusing or, or code. Uh, in a moment, I will show you how, how to do it. But before that, we have to use an, uh, some library and we have to use the rule that the library uh, gives you to, to fuse in our code. Now, to see how implemented, I we have to see the anatomy or, or fuse method. If you already write some unit tests, uh, maybe it could be a little uh, similar. Um, because our fuse method should be uh, or fuse or fuse step should be start with the word or with the prefix fuse and then any 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 name. Um, it should be accepts only one argument that is a uh, type testing dot f. Um, and it should be in the same. Uh, it should be in in the file with the with the prefix no uh, suffix uh test uh, as, as the same that a, that or unit test it should be in the same in the same kind of files then we have our fuse target um oh, i think uh, okay uh then we have a fuse target the fuse target um it's important we have oh, we should have only one fuse target per, per fuse test and the fuse target uh is an uh, it's an a method it's an a call method of the fuse and it accepts a function, function, function. Ah, sorry, a function that accepts the test, testing dot t and all the arguments that will be used or 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 method to to testing. Um, and we have our corpus, and in this case, our seed corpus. Seed corpus is um is to so the setting the type of values that we will, we will send or we will generate it to our, our system or or method that we that we will be test. So in this case, uh, it's in a hypothetical case where we have an, a, a sub method when we need two numbers or two ints, we have to set our corpus with with two with two values. If we have three three arguments we we should put in this in the in the seed corpus uh, in the in the same order that we will send to the to the method uh if we have different if your fuse argument should be in an in and the second will be an uh, an string uh we we have to 
to write in the same way here in a uh, comma uh, and a string. Okay. Um, also, our fuse or seed corpus will be uh, fitting by a by, by files that is in, in the folder test data slash fuse. Um, uh, in a moment, we will see a little more about that. And then we have our first fusing arguments uh, are this. I don't know if you can see the, the line. <laughs> um, it's important to mention that the argument should be basically the, the uh, I forgot the word, the net, net, native, no, the primitive, argument, primitive value. Uh, in this case, a string, and uh, by the right, ints, U ints, or loads, and bools are the only types that is allowed to 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 use in our in our fuse in our in our fusing arguments. So I will show you on a, on a demo. Um, give me a second. Oh, okay. 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 So here, here I have an, uh, an uh, a small piece of code that is an, a simple function that reverse or any any string. So in this case, we are a string and then convert an uh, by the array, and we can. Um, we can um, swap the, the values to reverse or, or code. Um, here, so. Okay, now, um, so as you can see here, I have um, two, two tests and, the, and a unit test and my fuse test. Um, it is implement, oh no, it's, it is complementary. Uh, you can have both unit tests and reverse and fuse testing and should be nice. Um, here, um, an important thing that I mentioned is in the unit test, we know what is the input that we will send to our to our method or to our code. And then we know what is the output that we expected, right? In the fuse testing is a little different because we will send a uh, random data. So we don't know, or we don't know what is exactly in output that we will expect for an, an input that we don't know what it will be sending. Huh? That makes sense? So we need to um, um, use a different approach to test or to fusing or, or, or code and test if everything works fine. In this case, um, I will be using a um, round, round trip uh, logic. Uh, in a moment, we will see what, what it means. But in this case, we will um, reverse or, or a string one time, and then we will reverse and again. So Doing that, it's supposed that the original string should be this, the same or should be equals to our second reverse. Huh? That makes sense because it should be, it's like a, you serialize something and then this, the serial size, the serial size uh, should be the, the original uh, info, information or info, original data that you will send. That is why if, if it is different, so that means that we have an, a, a book in our code or something went wrong. Okay. So, as already mentioned, um, we with the common go test, we can as uh, we can test uh, our code. As uh, we already done, the important thing is if we run the go test command, it will um, test or it will run it will be run both methods or unit method or unit test and our fuse testing. But uh, the fuse testing we use only the the information that we set, set in in our in our bit corpus. So for this fuse test, fuse test, um, the method 
or the fusing use 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 the use it, these three inputs and to to fuse in our code we have to use the the flag fuse with the with the name or with the prefix that the fuse method that we, that we can we can test in this case we can use go test fuse flag and in this case we will fuse words Oops. And then it will be a run and a, it will be a start to, to fusing our, our code. And as you can see, we have a here and, a, and an error. Uh, Palini put right into test data. Um, and here you can see it here a new fault. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned it that we, we can uh, fit our corpus in both sides, uh, right in the code or with uh, uh, with files in the test data data directory. Here is the 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 input that we will case you case use an, 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 an error and an error. Sorry. So if we run again the the command go test fuse. Uh, if we try to fuse in again our, our method, the the first um, the first inputs that we will set send are the are are these 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 values. So it will find again with the same value because uh, the fusing find an a an a case or find an a input that will case that may crash our code. So it will try to again with the same value until we can fix it. So. I added an um, here an a log log uh, line to see what is happening. Uh, in this case, we have we see that the or or um, length of our code for for runs it's only one value. Um, if we if we reverse that value, we we get um, an a value of three of three runs. So we can see that the error here. Is because we are um, we are not supporting a EFT eight um, characters. So in this case, it's it's an a simple fix. Use uh, changing or instead of uh, having a byte array, or use an a run, run run array. If we try run our code again with go go test, we can see now is now is uh, now now the the code passed successfully. Uh, uh, with this command, it will run our, our three these three scenarios and the scenario that that we already failed. If we run again to fusing again our, our code, we have to use this this flag. If we use it, then we can see that fail again with a with a new 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 file. Um, what it's supposed to be added here new file. Um, okay, here. Now the input that makes makes you file or code is this is this um this, this like a, a string but it could be an, a grown character um and we can see that original uh, length or or or, or runa, runa right is one and if then we if we reverse is is also one so here the problem is different because before all or or reverse or or, or a string. Uh, we have a uh, this this code, and we when we apply the reverse, we get this um, symbol that is this strange symbol. So if we try to reverse this again, uh, it's possible that we uh, get also an uh, strange symbol. So in this case, it's because this string of this input is not a UFT eight uh, valid character. So the thing that we can do is only handle that that scenario. Uh, if not important support that scenario, only have to to handle that error and and go and um, exit from our method if we found something like that. In this case, we can apply an uh, an evaluation that is EFT. Mm. And an error. Mm. 
Okay. Now we modify the sign of our method. So we have to update this. this case. So in this case, if we get an error, we can only just skip uh, our, our code because it's an error that it don't, don't, uh, don't matter. Okay. This, I think that's it. So we run again, go test. Now everything is working fine. If you fuse in again or code, uh, we can see that you can see my screen, my my console in, in a correct head. So it's everything good. Yeah, I suppose yes. Okay, so you can see we are fusing our, our method again, but in this case we don't we are we are not getting any any error. Um, we don't see any any error in this case. So that um, make you think that everything is working fine. And Of our of our method that we're confusing. Um, here, it uh, if we don't use any any flag, it will it will be run infinitely uh, until find an another error again. So to stop this, we have to use the uh, control C. Um, we can um, limit the limit the the. Um, the, the time that, that we can, we are executing or or fusing with the flag fuse time I think let me see go test fuse time and then we can set how many time how much time we can we want to uh, execute or or fuse in this case I will use only ten seconds to see that it will be stopped automatically after ten seconds of execution. And um, meanwhile, I let me explain what is the output that we are seeing in this case. Um, I hope to everything uh, uh, it's looking correctly. In this case, we can see a lapse. That means how 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 much time has been lapsed since the beginning. Uh, xx is the uh, how many input it's are sending to our to our. To our method or to our system, and the average the uh, inputs per second, and here we have a uh, new something like say uh, new interesting. New interesting are the inputs that are interesting, <laughs> but in this case, to consider an input interesting, is an is an, an input that increase increase the coverage in our code. So every time that we get an an an, an input that uh, find a new ways in our code uh, will be count here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it, it increments um, have an, a big increment at the beginning, and then we have we can see that that the number is like a, it's established or could be established or it's almost the same because it's almost almost all the coverage in our code uh, has been a uh, covered. Uh, so that is an, a normal. Uh, behavior that we can see in our fuse testing. Um, so basically, that is the output that we can see in our in our fusing. Let's continue with the presentation. Uh, at the moment, you don't have any question. Oh. Okay. So as already say, uh, we can, we can see the output that we can. We can get in uh, in our fusing, and uh, we understand how how though that what what that means that we were seeing um the types or or ways that we can test or fuse testing because as I already said it's an uh, it's an a uh, different it's an a uh, different it's an a uh, a different. Mm, approach that we have used for 
uh, between the unit test and the fuse testing. In this case, are the logical box. Uh, in for this um this type or 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 testing, um, we we want to check that the we don't know the the exactly output that we will uh, we will receive, but we can check the logic in different way. In this case, maybe we can try to encrypt something with a wrong key files and it should be file or code. Um, also, we can check that a uh, method return and, uh, and an error, uh, an error or, a, or, a, or an object. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we can check if a function returns uh, an error and, and a, an object, but not should be return box, uh, one or, or another. If in a sorting, um, Function we have we have checked that we already are sending all the the elements that we send at the beginning should be all the same elements that we are receiving in the in the output and that should be obviously sorting so that is the the way that we can test our, our method and this is the wrong trip test is the is the technique that we use use it in in our in our demo. We in this in this case we reverse our string and then reverse it again to to compare the the original string with the with the second reverse and it should 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 be shouldered shouldered file in any any step uh, the bot bot value should should be should be equals so basically that is what what we did in in that case um um and a tips or something that we can use um, fuse testing. Um, as I already said, it's not a good option to discover edge, edge case. Um, uh, uh, with, uh, discover edge case uh, in some, some methods that are related with, with, with invalid like on in the encoding, maybe with that is truncate the inputs or we, we get some overflows with, with our implementations or maybe invalid unit codes that like the example that we saw. Um, it helps us to, to find um, crashing our system or memory leaks. Also uh, helps us to improve the security in the code and helps you uh, to make a uh, refactorization uh, with more confidence because we, we can uh, fuse in both implementations, the old one with the new one, and it's supposed that show, uh, both should be get the same output with the same input, so that makes you uh, feel up very more confident with the with a with with a, with or or a factorization. So basically, the fuse fuse testing is a good um, complement for the unit test. Um, something that that I missing mention the the fuse. Uh, fuse testing is an, a technique uh, used by by security engineers, so it's an, a must in a in in a, in a, oh, I forget the word. It's a must if you want if you are doing a test test security test security test. Uh, the fuse testing is should be uh, should be should be included in your in your in your test. Um, and also, um, yeah, basically that. So as a resume of everything that we saw in this this presentation, um, the fuse testing helps you to uh, increase the code coverage in our in our code, um, helps you to find vulnerabilities in our in our code and patch it before that it will be in pro or should be, uh, and, or before that will be attacked. Uh, it's important to implement carefully, carefully in our in our in our CI/CD pipelines because you are very self. If you don't set any any flag for our, for the time that we will be executed, it will be run um, infinitely. So it could be block or pipelines. So be careful with with that. Uh, remember you that we now we have. Um, Fusing natively in Go since the version 1.18. And it's a great complementary for or 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 unit tests or or uni, or or this testing techniques in our code. Um, it's an uh, it's mandatory for for any 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 security test. Uh, it helps us uh, find a lot of bugs. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. 
the I think, in my opinion, the most difficult part uh, is uh, see the approach or how we will be uh, validate that the outputs that we are uh, receiving are correctly. So I, in my opinion, that is the the most difficult part. See uh, that will be using a different approach to the unit test, but uh, after of that, uh, with a simple comment, you can fuse in your your code, so you don't have to develop anymore. And that's it. I don't know if you have some questions. I have a small comment. I just paste it in the chat. Uh, a library by Google that I've used uh, in a specific scenario. Because as you said, this mm -hmm. uh, Google native approach, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, so this na Google native approach yeah, doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't support structs. So and and, speaking and, I don't... and uh, so can you hear me? I, I can see Arthur nodding, but yeah, I can hear you, but Eric. Can you hear uh, Slavko? Okay, now I can. I can hear. Sorry, okay. if something as some as I I don't know what is. Uh, so yeah, the, I just wanted to, uh, to say that I've used this uh, library, which in a scenario whereby um, I don't think this, um, the native Go approach, which landed in 118, uh, could help. Uh, specifically, like my scenario was, uh, I'm receiving some struct from, you know, some payload from Kafka, which is a very big event with a lot of substructs and so on, a, a big tree of data. And then I want to, uh, I need to serial uh, to deserialize it and then map it to something else and then send it again with Kafka somewhere else. So basically like a, a pipeline uh, service. And the, the point is that this, uh, this library can help you with that because it can generate, because let's say the struct actually can have a lot of optional data fields. And it, since it's uh, very nested, you need to make sure that you're always checking for uh, each of the nested fields that they're not nil. Otherwise, of course, you're going to get a panic runtime, like a nil pointer exception. So this would help you generate a lot of different scenarios. Uh, but yeah, fuzzing is great. Um, thanks for the talk. It was quite nice. Thank you so much. Okay, if there are no more questions, Eric, I just want to say thank you for this talk. Thank you for this presentation. You made a good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everything.